in isolation again, I've actually got no vast problem with any of the names linked. That, look, to varying degrees. I have. Yeah, same. Um, I'll come and sit there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop over, go over there. But, by, by, but my general sense of the underwhelming thing is that not one of them is as good as Fabinho, even in his worst season. Mm. I think his worst season, and bear in mind, I'm about to have the season of his life last year. I would rather keep Fabinho and have an unhappy Fabinho and be out 40 million quid than get any of those guys to be a day one starter for Liverpool. And that issue is only exacerbated further if Jordan Henderson's not at the football club. Because if you are you telling me that our starting DM from game one of the season against Chelsea at Stamford mm. Bridge is either a, a fat lad who's only played three games for City <laughs> last season. Um, not my words, by the way, the words of Pep Guardiola, sort of. Um, Sofia and Amrabat, who had a good World Cup, but otherwise, as you know, is a Fiorentina Conference League footballer. <laughs> Romeo Lavia, who is a 19-year-old child who's played about four minutes more than Stefan Bacetic. Mm-hmm. And Ryan Gravenberch, who got his big move to Bayern Munich and sat on the bench all season. Yeah, and um, he's in the six. Uh, yeah. If you're telling me any of those is starting game one for Liverpool, then we have made our team worse by selling Fabinho at any cost and replacing them with any of those lads. Discuss. Discuss. Can I just retweet? Quote <laughs> 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 tweet this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone? That's that. Yeah. Um, it's it's the miles off it for, for various different reasons. Calvin Phillips is just a no no, like completely. Put Can we just big. discuss the Calvin Phillips thing? By the way, go on. What's he got going for him? English. That's it. That's next. it. I don't get it. <laughs> Played no footy, injury problems. He was fit. He Shy. was very good prior to signing for Man City. I don't think he was that good. Yeah, yeah. he had a good old, four games. In he's the, old. Yeah, everyone thinks he's like twenty seven. Everyone thinks he's twenty one for some reason. It's, yeah. no, it's not him. It's not ever been him. Can't be. No. Yeah. He was next. Is no one so no one's going to make even a slightest positive He's a writer. He's, He's a write off. That's not even. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. No, I've got nothing else for him. That's mad. That. Don't like it at all. He's shy. Like, one bit like yeah. he's not warm. He's shy. He's shy. Did he want to go to United as well? Like desperately at one point. He is. No, there is a right. little thing where. Like he was, I know he's had injury problems, and that's obviously we we know what that looks like. You can't necessarily write a football player off in their ability level because of injury problems, but like Man City have got Rodri, and he's not coming anywhere close to touching Rodri, and Rodri's the level for me. Yeah. Like yeah. F- Fabinho was the level, and Man City went shit. We need to go and get our own Fabinho, and they bought a Rodri, and Fabinho was better than Rodri, and now finally Rodri's. Overtaking him, you know, which is yeah. which was which is what happens. Um, I, I would have felt I wouldn't feel comfortable with Calvin Phillips above Pachetic, and that's not where we can be. That that, that can't be us. I think if yeah. you got, I think Agreed. there's a mad world where you pick him up for like fifteen to twenty no. million, right? And just to talk, talk and say because I'm talking about this, you can't buy you can't buy replacement players, and you know you can't buy squad players. Yeah. He's a rare example of that. I think I think he would be a perfectly a- adequate squad player for Liverpool. But again, to the point. He'd be sound for Tranmere as well. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be the best player ever to play for Tranmere football no, club by an absolute Aldridge. It's, yeah. it's also funny that you think that he, in any way, that that lad's worth 15 to 20 mil. What did City pay for him? 50? And City will literally turn around and go, 60. <laughs> City have no interest in him mil. either, have they? No, they don't, but this is what City do. They, they, they wouldn't end up getting it. No, they wouldn't give um, it to us. He's going to be there at 45, filling the English quota for yeah. Manchester. I'm a Arsenal, little yeah. concerned having slaughtered Arsenal last season for saying, how do you expect to catch Manchester City when all you buy is their rejects? Mm-hmm. And then us to go, right, come on, let's catch Man City, Calvin Phillips. Maybe get on the treadmill a little bit um, before then, but yeah. I, It'd yeah. be fresh, though, so, I suppose. That's, that's the one advantage. Yeah, it's not not a lot of minutes in the legs in the last 12 months. <laughs> he hasn't had a lot of minutes for, for years, by the way. <laughs> just just to clarify that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, hasn't, he hasn't done a Fabinho minutes level season since the Championship. Like he had, he's had injury problems since, since then. So he's not done a full uninterrupted season in the Premier League. <laughs> Sounds like he'll probably be a target. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Just saying. So Nabby was injured again at the weekend. Yeah, yeah. in the warm-up. Warm-up for him, though. How was he doing it? Funny. Sofian Amrabat? No. I, 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 he's a good player. Calvin. He's a good player. He's not at the level that we need. 
He's also about 27 now. He's, he's 26, I think. He's 26 going 27. Mm. Out of the four, if it is just that four, and I don't want it to just be that four, obviously he would be the one. Because he's the one to me who feels like the most similar to Fabinho stylistically. He's the one who... <laughs> Tall and bald. Yeah, a little bit of that. But he's the one who's sort of a bit plug and play, comes in, does a job, a bit of a stopgap for a season, two seasons, whatever it may be, whilst you either sort of allow Romeo Lavia, Pachesic to watch and learn and grow and be that understudy, or you go and get the one that you really want next summer's time, for instance. I think Sof and Amy Bax, he'd be cheap enough, if like 30 million, something like that. He'd be the one you could sort of say, okay, not ideal, this isn't an ideal scenario, but go on there, go and do a job. Yeah, I, I think if you pair him with Lavia signing, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. But it, it is just the short-term solution. But you actually probably are covering the two years that you maybe wanted to keep Fabinho for. Yeah, yeah. That feels reasonable to me. He's not as good as Fabinho. He's just not as good at football. Mm. He's, he's a much more. He's, he's more of a destroyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's much more. He'll stop. He'll stop things happening. And I don't. I don't mind that. I don't like. I quite like the idea. I think we, we're lacking that. Actually, someone who aggressively wants the football mm. uh, or wants the other to the team not to have it more over. Um, but yeah, he's get it underwhelming, isn't it? It's. It's a. I don't think we'll buy a player from that list to be our day one starter. I hope not. Lavia. We've said it a lot, I guess. Nothing really study. different to be had. 19 years old. Yeah. I, fine in a world for me where you've still got Fabinho. Yeah. If you I think agree. that selling Fabinho just means we push the button on Lavia and that's it, job done, I'm really worried about it. I think before the Hendo and Fabinho news, I think Liverpool thought they could get him for less than 50 million quid. Post the Hendo and Fabinho news, I don't think you can get him for less than 50 million quid. Because mm. you've just had your coffers filled up and mm. all your bargaining position has gone out the window with, the, with them two sales. Well, I wonder whether we'll sort of draw back from that signing anyway, not just from a monetary sense, but I wonder whether what we want to do has changed. And if we do want to push the button on the elite £80 million plus player, then you can't go and get Lavia as well. So I wonder whether because of what's happened, our plans have moved away from Lavia, not just money. I think it, it, the only way we go and get Lavia is probably if we do get another one off that list, i.e. an Amrabat, because as you alluded to there, I think an Amrabat plus a Lavia is kind of covering both bases and I'm just about okay with that. But a Lavia alone just can't be your six going into the new season. We're miles off it. We're absolutely downgrading what we were doing. Yeah, big concern. The Ryan Gavinbert still falls into a very similar sort of camp. Is that again? He feel that he would have been a great third piece of business in a settled yeah. squad, mm. where you've got someone there. And the same with Lavia. It's like someone who comes in and there's just no pressure on him to be amazing from minute one of the football team. You can develop him. You can see how he fits. You can mold him to the shape you want him to be in. And Catherine Tehran was a bit like that as well. Um, a luxury project Sobers lies a first teamer McAllister's a first teamer you don't need and this is this is a five days ago you don't need a DM because you've got a 29 year old experienced DM you've still got still got something left in the tank with Hendo and Thiago's understudies that's fine if you don't if you don't even buy one in the summer you could limp through with the end of the season I think without having to solve that problem while the market develops if you had to um, and these signings all feel I mean Amrabat's just a He's just there, isn't he? He's just a not. He's just a, a senior football option. Phillips feels like not an option. Just <laughs> joining the dots together makes sense on the Calvin Phillips stuff. Maybe the pool looked at him a couple of years ago, and that's why he remains on a, on a list. And Gavin Birch just yeah, he's just he he's the one I would I would most want us to sign him out of those four in general. Yep. But again, yeah. What's, I- the, what's the mantra? Not as a day one. I was going to say shite. No, no Gravenberg isn't shite, of course. Yeah. Like he's, a, he's a very good player. Um, I don't think we could have got him as a third option, to be honest, because I think the one thing he wants is first guaranteed yeah. first team football. That might have made, actually opened the door now with Fabinho moving, and that might make it a little bit easier to sign someone like him. Don't see him as the right fit. Don't see him as the right ty- type of DM at all. I actually, you know, I actually really think, and I mentioned this off off the cuff a couple of weeks ago about. You know, a centre half who could step up into the midfield and leave Trent in that position. That's probably where I'd go now. Instead of an out an out DM, I'd be looking at that centre half who can do it and step up just like John Stones. So you just leave Trent Alexander Arnold sat there all the time and you just leave him in the centre of the pitch and let him get on with it. Because I think that's just it. that just solves a couple of problems all at once. It means you don't need that backup right back, which I think you still need now anyway, if he's the one that's moving. 
it solves your defensive midfielder, it solves your centre back problem, and it's almost one guy. And then you've got a couple of guys that you probably get into back them up. Do you want Trent playing in DM now? Well, it depends. It depends, doesn't it? Because he can do it at right back, and he's done it against the best wingers in the world. So, I like no, sorry, no, I, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, sorry, to be clear on that. I mean, he's technically he's playing alongside the DM in this formation, but actually he's afforded so much opportunity to get forward from there. You know, he's he's more advanced than Fabinho plays on the other side. And it's, are you actually limiting Trent by just making him the DM? Because that's actually, of all those positions, it's the one that sits the, the deepest. But he's, he's still got to get to the right-back position. So whenever he attacks, he's still got to think about getting all the way back. All I'm saying is you don't need to get all the way back. Yeah, but you don't get as far forward. I think he could. I think he could, um, and that that's obviously dependent on how you shift your formation, what the other centre halves do, and all that yeah. type of stuff. It has to change, but I just feel like that one signing could nullify having to make three. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? There is a there's a diddle in here somewhere, isn't there? I think I wonder whether Pep and Yeah are gonna kind of sat overlooking a lake somewhere with a notepad in hand, kind of going, "Well, what if we try this? Is there some way we can just shuffle the pack a little bit and give ourselves another?" Angle of approach, I think that's that's definitely one of them. Um, the other, as I said earlier, is McAllister yeah. played alongside Casado. Mm. Could McAllister play alongside Trent Alexander Arnold? You'd need a right back to be able to do that. Mm. But then you'd at least have probably Sobers lie central. Um, McAllister's already alongside Trent Alexander Arnold. You got your Sally, you got your Diaz, Elliot. you you've got your your Gakpo or your Nunes up front. Yeah. You'd need a starting right back to be able to do that. And this is where it comes back to the formation stuff for me. Is like. It would be much easier if we knew exactly what Liverpool were going to do. And the signing tells you what Liverpool are going to do, mm. I think, moving forward. The first signing that we make. We, if you remember, this happened with the Coutinho summer as well, totally differently. But I was convinced that our formation plan that season, we were going to copy Manchester City and we were going to see Coutinho and Lallana in behind. And then the week before the season started, Lallana got injured and we got a bid from Barcelona for Coutinho. And it totally and utterly changed Liverpool's outlook on what they were going to do. Mm. And we never really got to see... That we just modified the plan and we roll and we roll with it and that's, that's the thing we we were already uncertain about what we were gonna do we'll ne we might never know we might never get to see the plan that was put, getting put in action up until Friday might now just be sat in a curled up in a waste paper bin somewhere and now they're moving on to the onto the next thing but the the fact remains is that the, the next player they need to buy needs to be a first team ready football.